I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended... Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious! <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along now. Oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. What do you mean? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. You may leave. The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the morning sped up the process. Morning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. A dozen nuns died in that fire. Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. That's terrible. They had contracted some sort of disease. They practically went blind. They had gone mad. And that Dr. Wyman? Sure as hell didn't help them. Poor girl. She was locked up in there by her own parents. Why? 